honor of Christmas, I got some epic Christmas lights in my room. So, yeah. Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video. And you may recall that when I made a community post announcing that I finished my JoJo series 3, I mentioned that I had two video ideas, and both of them were pretty dumb. And unfortunately, this was one of them. The other one is, uh, this, that's gonna be a lot worse, trust me, but I don't know if I'm gonna make that yet. But, for this one, it is Times Lego included memes in their Lego sets. Now, I'm pretty sure you all know what a meme is, so I don't even um, want to explain it. And if you don't know what a meme is, then you're probably 69 years old. But, yeah. Now, there are a few rules. The main one is, I'm not going to be including minifigures or sets that became memes, but weren't intended to be a meme. For, let's take Dawn Mustafa, for example. This whole set is just a meme with all of the Anakin and Obi-Wan quotes. Like, it's over Anakin, I have the high ground. You are supposed to destroy this earth, not join them, and stuff like that. But really, this is not based on a meme. This is based on, well, the main fight scene. Although, I guess you could say that this is trying to recreate, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil, but yeah, I doubt it. I mean, I don't think this is based on a meme just because there's no high ground. But, yeah, I don't think stuff like this counts, and I'm also not going to be including figures, like I said. So, Anakin and Obi-Wan don't count, despite the fact that they are kind of memes. So, yeah. Now, with the three instances I can think of, one of them I actually own, and unfortunately it's the cringiest. And it is Lego flossing tiles. Now, for those who don't know what the floss is, apparently the backpack kid in like 2016 or 2017 made a dance called the floss. And well, I'm not gonna do it because I don't use TikTok, but yeah, it's kind of cringy. And I think it died out in like 2018 or 2019, thankfully. And this thing was like a big meme, like kids in my school were doing it and like all the time. And I think Fortnite even included the floss dance um, in the game, and I think the backpack had sued them or something. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised the backpack had didn't sue Lego, but then again, the floss is dead. And yeah, like, this came out last year. Lego included a dead meme, which never goes well. I mean, if you're gonna include, like, memes in your sets, at least try and make them relevant. Like, just have some Lego Wojak figures, that'll be cool. Now, these next two are sets I don't own. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna put up Google Images. So, this next one comes in the Lego Monkey Kid Spider Queen's Arachnoid Base. Now, this one isn't really cringy. I could just think it's kind of more of a cool reference. But if you look inside of the abdomen of the giant spider mech, you'll see a video that's the Lofi Study Girl, which is like these hip hop beats or something that you can use for studying. Um, I think I've only really listened to it once in class, and uh, it's not really for me personally. I mean, I'm more of a JoJo OST guy myself. But, you know, it's actually a cool reference, and this isn't extremely cringy, unlike bloody flossing. And I, I'm actually fine with this one. And this last one, I actually am also fine with because it's actually relevant to the set it comes in. I mean, video, it's video, what you expect. And Monkey Kid, well, it doesn't have anything to do with Lofi, it's just a cool reference. But this one, actual is relevant in my opinion. Now it comes in Lego Spider-Man Daily Bugle. Now we all know about the giant a window that Green Goblin is um, bursting out of. However, if you remove that window, you'll see that there is a room that's green and it has Spider-Man portrait on the wall. It's based on this meme right here. I, I've never seen it um, on Reddit or anything. But, you know, it's kind of a cool thing that they included it, and, yeah, and it actually is relevant, because if you don't want to see it as a meme, you don't have to, while with the video, they're kind of just shoehorning bloody dancing in your face. It's kind of cringy. But, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.